Hi, I'm Madeline from Ballyhoo Farm. You may know me better as the Sheep Lady at Locust Grove. Today I'm here with my mom, Rhonda, and we're going to create a beautiful edible hanging basket using Ballyhoo wool. This is a Shetland fleece from our friend Henna, and we sell we sell uh, wool by the pound that's not really good enough quality to use for yarn, but it's great for hanging baskets. Now you've probably used baskets in the past that had cocoa coir or some other kind of liner, but what we can do is take pieces of this wool and place in the basket in much the same way. Now why, you ask, would you want to use wool? First of all, it's local. Second of all, it's sustainable. But there are specific benefits for gardeners from using this raw product. Again, this is raw, it has not been washed, and you may find unpleasant bits, so maybe wear gloves. You can see it's got kind of, I don't know, you could call it a rustic look and probably one of the things that will happen over the course of the season is birds will come up and start pulling little pieces off to use for their nests. So that's a nice little bird habitat benefit. And all I've done is lay it around in here. What it does in addition to forming a kind of a unique looking base that will pack down over time is diminish the need for soil, how much soil you're going to need to put in the pot, and um, it will retain moisture, up to 25% more moisture, so that's less frequent watering, which I don't know about you, but sometimes there's a basket I forget about, and then that's the plant that looks the worst. So today we've chosen to do an edible arrangement that will be beautiful and functional all season long. So I've got two types of strawberries here. This one is a quinault, and as you can see, it's already forming berries. They're pretty early, and they last all season long. Ooh, there's not very much root to this. And you can see we're just gonna put the soil straight on top of the bowl, and then go around, and in much the same way that you would plant any other basket, you can just, Make a hole in the wool and stuff your little plant right in there with its little barbs that make it so great for spinning. Wool is also great at holding plants in place. Oh my goodness. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So let's add a little bit more soil in the middle here. Now if there's one thing we can say about spring in Kentucky, it's Derby, and the highlight of Derby for many people is the famous mint julep. But if you know anything about mint, it's famous for spreading, right? It's hard to keep under control. Mm. It's oh, amazing. Yes. Ready to put right into a copper mule cup. But instead what we're going to do is put this in our hanging basket. That way, it's not running all over your garden, and mint is actually beneficial to strawberries. It will help prevent worms, slugs, and other creepy crawlies. Break your roots open. This one actually has good roots from attacking your delicious berries. So when you go out to harvest one, you can just harvest both. And in addition, you can sit on your porch all summer long and smell that great mint smell. Now mint on our farm grows down by our pond. It really loves moisture, so that's where the wool comes into play, holding 25% more moisture in your basket and having something that those roots can bind into is really beneficial and it will take about five years for this wool to fully break down. So you're getting a long lasting return on your investment. One of the benefits of using the strawberries for the hanging basket is, of course, they produce runners. So now, instead of having to pull those off or having them trailing off your basket, just make a little hole in the wool right next door, pop it over, and press the wool around it, and it will start to root. This is an Ozark Beauty. 
this soil is dry as a bone. Put the roots on this guy. Do you want to break that up? They're a little better developed. So once again, I'm going to find a spot in the wool, and it looks like there's one already on this side toward me. Let me turn around and show you. Right there. We're going to take this. Oop. Push it through. And just secure it in place. And if it looks like it's going to fall over a little bit like this guy's doing, you want to tear me off a piece. Our wool comes in all different colors, so you can make patterns and mosaics and however you want it to look. Press that in. Wool does its lovely binding bit. And there you are. Secure. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Additionally, remember I said this was kind of the gross wool that we don't really use for spinning. It hasn't been washed. Um, it may have what's known as tags, which are the poop, which sounds gross, but as all gardeners know, poop is an excellent fertilizer. And because most of these fleeces have been sitting for about six to eight months, you're getting the benefit of all of that just mulching right into your soil, no need to fertilize. So I also got these pansies, which are very beautiful to look at and also edible. Did you know you can put these, these uh, blossoms right in your salad? Wow. Yeah, alongside nasturtium, which is also edible. Gives a nice pop of spring color. And when I said we were making an edible basket, I wasn't kidding. This little guy doesn't want to come out. Do you want me to do something with this while I work on that? Sure, where do you want to put it? So I picked this sweet mint because it doesn't get more than like a foot tall. You want to be really cautious, of course, as you know, when you're forming these hanging baskets, that you get things that are going to be conducive. So we're just going to keep plugging away here. The pun, plugging away. <laughs> Working that into the basket. And I like kind of a tidy look, personally. In the top. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, just fill in around that. The mint. Yeah. Need a little bit more soil. And you could, if you wanted to, I guess you could fill the top of your basket with wool as well. But then you wouldn't be able to gauge the soil moisture as accurately. On the other side. Mm -hmm. going to be so pretty. And remember this is going to be hanging up so don't forget the bottom portion of your basket. Oh gosh it smells so good already. <laughs> what do you mean by that, the bottom portion? Well when you hang your basket like this you're going to have a whole bunch of wool to look at. Mm -hmm. if you don't plant through some of those holes. So make sure that you're not just planting around the top where things have to grow over, but that you're filling in around here as well. And you can see if you look, see it's so secure I can pick it up like this. If you look at the bottom of this basket, you can kind of see it's already starting to compact, which is exactly what we want. Where should we put this guy? Let's put it over, over here. Need some more in the top. And then as these plants grow in their various stations, I've pulled the wool up and I'm just going to tuck it around. Their roots are also going to bind together through the wool and with each other and be really stable and secure. So we're going to finish working on this basket. And you can pop on over to BallyhooFiberEmporium.com. Just look under our Home and Garden section and you'll find Gardener's Friend Wool available now.